Professor Wei Kuok Ki, Provost SIM Global Education, Mr. Wang Bang Hong, Regional Product Manager, Johnson & Johnson. Distinguished guests, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Debbie and I am your Master of Ceremony today. A very warm welcome to the Diploma Graduation Ceremony. Today is a special occasion and we would like to extend our heartiest congratulations to the 1,348 graduates who will be receiving their diplomas. To begin the ceremony, it, it gives me great pleasure to invite Mr. Gary Ng, Head of Program, Academic Division, SIM, to deliver the welcome address. Mr. Ng, please. Professor Wei Kok Ki, Provost SIM, Mr. Wong Ban Hong, Regional Product Manager, Johnson & Johnson. Distinguished guests, graduate ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon everyone and a warm welcome to this joyous occasion. Today is a day of celebration as we gather to honour the graduate who have successfully completed their studies and are now ready to embark on the new chapters in their life. To the graduate of Diploma in Banking and Finance and Diploma in Management Studies, I would like to extend my heartfelt congratulations. Okay, so this is an achievement that you have worked tireless, tirelessly towards and you have demonstrated hard work, dedication and perseverance. Graduation is a momentous occasion that marks the end of a chapter in your life and the beginning of a new one. So it's time to reflect on the journey you have taken and the growth and transformation that have taken place. You are now equipped with a wealth of knowledge and skills that will allow you to make a meaningful contribution to the world around you. As you graduate today, it's important to recognise the role that your family and friends, loved ones played in your success. Their support, encouragement, belief in you have been critical to your achievement. Today is not just a day to celebrate your own achievement, but also to express gratitude to those who have been with you on this journey. Take a moment to thank them and recognize the sacrifice they have made for you. They too deserve to share in the joys and pride of your graduation. As you move forward, I encourage you to stay curious Never stop learning and seek new challenges. Your education has provided you with a strong foundation and the real learning has just begun. Embrace the opportunity that come your way. Use your skills, knowledge to make a positive impact on the world. Whether you choose to pursue further education, enter the workforce or take on a personal challenges, I encourage you to approach these endeavors with a sense of curiosity, resilience, and a willingness to embrace new perspectives. Okay, so remember the true measure of success is not just what you achieve for yourself, but what you contribute to others. I have no doubt that each and every one of you has the potential to make a significant impact in your respective field. So take a moment to celebrate your achievement and look forward to the future with enthusiasm. You have accomplished something truly remarkable and I'm confident you'll continue to do great things. Once again, congratulations to all graduates. Your hard work, determination and perseverance have paid off. You should be proud of your achievement and remember to stay true to yourself, to use your skill and knowledge to create a positive change in the world. I wish you all the best in, for your future endeavours. Thank you very much. Okay, so next, I would like to introduce our guest speaker, Mr. Wang Ban Hong, Regional Product Manager, Johnson & Johnson. We are very happy to have him with us today. He is one of the SIM UOL alumni who has graduated from the Bachelor 
of Science in Computing and Information System in 2014. As a firm believer of leveraging technology for business, Mr. Wong was a project manager in DBS Bank after his graduation. He co lead in projects such as cash management standardization for six DBS key countries. From 2017 to 2022, he was the assistant director in technology group at MAS, where he had managed the critical infrastructure application of Singapore Reserve and Security Management. Okay, so after a career sting in the financial sectors, Mr. Wong's current role at Johnson & Johnson is to define and execute the global and regional portfolio, as well as the product roadmap with various stakeholders from business and technology partners to consultants and vendors. Mr. Wong is also an alumni men mentor with SIM Alumni Project Protege program since 2018. In his corporate work, he championed women's leadership inclusion under the university pillars and lead programs to encourage young women to embark on the STEM career. Okay, so it's now my pleasure to invite him to address us. Mr. Wong, please. Thank you, Mr. Gary Ng. Dr. Professor Wei Kok Ki, Post SIM. Good afternoon, distinguished guests, graduates, ladies, and gentlemen. It's great to be here back at SIM after graduating in 2014. So I've noticed a lot of changes in SIM when I stepped in today. So I noticed that there are better facilities in learning. There are a lot of uh, FMB around. The library is recently refurbished to have a very great learning opportunities. So these are very great things when I step into the school and I see there's improvement since I last left. And I feel that graduates or maybe students here are actually enjoying better facilities. And I heard from other SIM staff that they're actually upgrading more facilities if you intend to further your education here. There's definitely a lot of resources that you can tap in on your education needs. There are three parts of uh, sharing that I like to share my story with all of the young graduates. The first part is my personal experience. The second part is my experience in SIM specifically. And the third part is basically what are the things to look out for when you decided to go to work either after this uh, graduation or after your undergrad studies uh, with SIM. So on the first part for my personal experience, I am not an academic person, so I'm a very playful guy as an Asian family, as a guy I keep playing, you know. So I didn't have a very good grade since primary school. My PSLE score is less than 200 marks. And my O-level L1, R4, I score over 20 over points. So at that point, I think many of my relatives and parents think that I'm quite a failure because I scored very badly in, in primary school and secondary school. So things started to change when I went to national service. So in Singapore, uh, guys have to serve the national uh, service, the army. So over there, I actually joined the Air Force that they give me a lot of perspective, like how do I really think of what a future I want? So I have a great thoughts of what future I want, what's my passion, and I eventually choose SIM as my undergrad studies. So I registered for UOL for the computing information systems because of my passion in IT. So after UOL, right, I believe during the course of study, I feel very engaging because the lecturer actually engaged with you during the tutorial, during the lecture. And in SIM, there's actually a lot of CCAs that you can join to make friends, to network. So I find that this is really my, my, like my second home during my uh, undergrad studies. So in terms of the working, after I graduated from UOL, I started at DBS. So many people actually question me that, you know, if you are a private new grad, can you actually work in MNC like DBS, like the big companies? My answer is yes. You need to be confident in your skill sets, your passion to really show your um, endeavors to join the companies when you do the interview. So I, I don't think that 
SIM is, is somewhat lower than other education. I think SIM is equal or better because they are constantly improving very eagerly as what I've seen over the years. And I believe in giving back to the community. So I joined uh, SIM Project Porter J. So if you are actually uh, going to further your studies with SIM, there's an internship department that you can tap on with to actually do internships during your holidays. So if, because in terms of the today's job market, you can see there's a lot of retrenchment, etc. So it's really critical while you are at school to really equip yourself with skills, knowledge, as well as step on resources to go to internships to really go and explore to see what is there. So you can get an experience to see the company, like how people communicate with each other, just have a learning journey with SIM. The third part I would like to share is basically what are the skill sets that actually employers are looking for, or maybe I'm looking for when I'm in, uh, hiring. So the first part is basically uh, adaptive. So basically, whatever that you learn, try not to have a fixed mindset, like there's this saying, like we have always done this way, you know. Things will change. In the past, there's no job title like product manager. There's no job title like data scientist. Many things are changed. Nobody believed that we can do online shopping 20 years ago, 10 years ago, but it's so common these days. So a lot of things are changing all along. So you need to learn along the way on, on how to adapt uh, these stuff to actually be successful. The other things that I believe we, we as uh, employee we should have is the attitude. You must have the attitude to learn and be humble to listen. And another thing, important thing is basically in terms of the communication. So when you started working, or, I mean, communication is a very basic thing, but it's also a very difficult thing to really communicate to your bosses, to your employees, as to your friends, to what you exactly want and to have the great synergy together. And one very important point that I would like to highlight is basically to give solutions, not problems. That is one of my ex-boss told me. So let me share with you a short uh, encounter. So during my uh, sting at Monetary Authority of Singapore, I went to my boss say, boss, I have an issue. This application that I managed stopped working intermittently. How? So this is the, the scenario that I did to my boss. And my boss say, oh, what do you mean how? So how are you going to solve it? Then, Along the way, while I work with my boss, I learned how to do better communication. So how do I do better communication? So I go to my boss, I tell them, boss, this application I managed have some intermittent issue. I have checked A, B, and C. And I've talked to this guy, this guy, this guy from different team, and this is the thinking that I have. What do you think that I can do further? So if you notice the changes in me, is I, when I go to my bosses, I don't go with a problem. I go with a problem, with something that I have in mind, which is a potential solution, may or may not be correct, but at least I'm doing my part. So I think this is something that I want graduates that go out to work to have this mindset. Talk to people with a problem and a solution in mind, and not only just, you know, just throw the problem away. The last segment that I would like to talk to is about mental health. So I believe that sometimes when we are very stressed in terms of working, uh, family stuff, and many, many other stuff, I hope that you guys have taken a step back to just relax yourself, especially when you have completed a great uh, run during this diploma. Really just let your hair down, go for a holiday, <laughs> do something, do sports or do something and you like. And one very important thing is please take time to actually thank uh, people who support you during the journey. It can be your parents, it can be the lecturer. Take some time to really uh, talk to them, give them a hug, and have a happy, uh, heartfelt talks to actually thank them. And lastly, I hope that all of the graduates will keep learning. Learn for life, try for life. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wang. We will now begin the presentation of diplomas. I shall now invite Professor Wei Provost, SIM, to present the diplomas.
Prof Wei, I present to you graduates from the diploma programs from the Diploma in Banking and Finance, 15th intake. Brian Lo Chan Ming. From the 16th in thick. Celine Pyong Ching Ling. <laughs> Devon Chandra. Deloy Gabrielle Daniel Gabriel. Han Pei Tuan. Kinta Prajaya. Lim Yin Xuan, Chloe. <laughs> Louis Chia Yin. <laughs> Made Ryuan Dewi Wiyantra. Nguyen Trung Tay Nguyen. <laughs> Ong Chi Lun. <laughs> Titus Sim Ting Hao. Trisha Unikrishnan Winston Jaja Deningrat From the 17th intake Agatha Karenina Bertrand Lim Jin Lung. <laughs> Brian Chua Yue Shang. <laughs> Eng Yan Heng. Evangeline Ng Jing Xuan. <laughs> Jeremiah Bezalel Vonk Ruz. <laughs> Kekain Tura Moon. Kathirvelu Shilpa. <laughs> Chio Sin. <laughs> Lorencia Levina. Lee Chuan Wen Luke <laughs> Lee Mei Hua 
Roxana. Lim Ro Jin. Livia Sajda Adyaksana. Marcian Gloria Priyadarshini. Michelle Maurice. Ung Ju Kim. Ong Mei Jin. Panka Maulana Waranula. Pang Kelly. Reyes Chashan Jerox Zinampan. From the Diploma in Management Studies, 73rd intake. Aguinaldo Narisa Castro. Beth Rachel Yousef. Pile Harini. Tin Yadana Su. Christel Janika Valentino Tanasas. Claire Chan Yi Sin. Gan Wei Le. Gui Yan Ming Nicholas. Iviana Albiguna. Chi Ti Wai. Lao Ro Kwan. Letitia Natanya Subono. Liu Xin Yi. Michelle Lie. Nadita Ferencia Tung. Natanya Zaviera Wijaya. Piu Pin. Ryan Lee Jin Yang. Sim Yun Sin Janelle. <laughs> v. 
Victoria. From the 74th intake. Ang Chia Xuan. Angelica Chandra. Angie Lim Anyi. Chan Ziyan Tiffany. Chong Wei Lin. Clara Patricia Leisana. David Lim Sun Cheng. Jesslyn Valentina Baki. Kaiswarya Devon. Kenzie Saputra. Kainmya Tep. Komang Amitya Dewi Swadharma. Kunsana Vieng Vipa. Kwa Bao Yi Cheryl. Lo Si Ning. May Tida A. May Zin Ko. Muhammad Rafi Hida Alivi. Ahmad Fadel. Orpao Chaman. Pu Nei Chi Tio. Sun Shu Hao Tan Ban E Tio Jia Yen Jing Wang Chan Yu. <laughs> Wei Yi Sun. <laughs> Shui Ke Ting. Yang Chen (Applause) 
Yin Kele Myung. Chao Duo E. From the 75th intake. Anthony Ng Kok Dong. I Chot Chot Kang. Cho Sin Win. David Stephen Subono. Felicia Himawan. Grisella Octavia Supanto. Gu Xin Yu. Hu Xing Yi. Joyce Wong Sing Ping. Le Tiu Van Khan. May Ted Cho. Myat Thiri Thun. Ng Jia Min. Ng Xin Yi. Nikki Nuruldiana. <laughs> Nhi Tu San. <laughs> Han Puin En. Park Seo Yung. <laughs> Patricia Veran Putri Chandra. <laughs> Ricky Tan Da Tian. Rosie Chang Shu Mei. Sean Jovi. Si Shao Chun. Two pieces on it more. Tae Cheng Kyung. Tio Cheng Hao. Oh, 
Ho Kang Kang. Yen Lin Yi. Yanang Latik. From the seventy sixth insect. Omiat Kin. Brenda Hugh Dongyan. Castiella Young Xuan Xuan. Charles Lauren. Chelsea Gwyn Beatrix Yosef. Cho Nguyen Tuo. Cindy Margareta. Dinesh Chengis. Elvia. Farrell Chikal Pranata. Greca Pritkor. Giovanna Oriel Santoso. Hugh T. Twin. Jennifer Cindy Wijaya. Jenny Herlina. Jessica Felicia Hartono. Joycelyn Aquino Chanetta. John Carlos Celis Abella. Justin Rizki Liputra. Khan Hoi Wai. Karen Caroline. Kintet Nui. Cho K. Kain. Le Duan Tuan. Lengok Pao Kan. Mm -hmm. 
Li Jinlin. Lim Hui Yi. Mio Ted Kin. Ng Tse Ching. Nguyen Thi Hong Ngoc. Piu Sin. Rian Ng. Rene Lo Yi Wun. Rosalinda. Xiao Ji Wei. Sharon. So you you nin. Han Ke Tian. Han Lucia. To Chen Wei. Tranti Tupeng. Wu Chong Yun Koi. Winnie Susanto. Yadana Pu Ya Tian Ru Ye Tet Chio Yulin Lucky Yvonne Lai Ng Chi An Richie Let us give a round of applause to the graduates who have just been presented. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, among the graduates today are some individuals who have excelled in their programs. Professor Wei will now present special awards to these top graduates in recognition of their outstanding performance. From the Diploma in Banking and Finance, 16th INTIC. Winner of the Maple Tree Gold Award. Devon Chandra. <laughs> Re
winner of the Maple Tree Silver Award. Winston Jaja Deningrat. Recipient of the Certificate of Commendation. Nguyen Truong Thay Nguyen. From the Diploma in Banking and Finance, 17th Intake, winner of the Maple Tree Gold Award. Livia Sajda Adyaksana. Winner of the Maple Tree Silver Award. Kathirvelu Shilpa. Winner of the Maple Tree Bronze Award. Michelle Maurice. From the Diploma in Management Studies, 73rd Intake, winner of the Maple Tree Gold Award. Beth Rachel Yousef. Recipients of the Certificate of Commendation. Christel Janika Valentino Tanasas. Letitia Natanya Subono. From the Diploma in Management Studies, 74th Intake. Winner of the Maple Tree Silver Award. Chan Ziyan Tiffany. Winners of the Maple Tree Bronze Award. Komang Amitya Dewi Swadharma. <laughs> Lo Si Ning. Recipient of the Certificate of Commendation. Kain Mia Tiet. From the Diploma in Management Studies, 75th Intake. Winners of the Maple Tree Bronze Award. Cho Sin Win. Park Seo Young. From the Diploma in Management Studies, 76 in thick, winners of the Maple Tree Gold Award. Kin Tet Nue. So Yu Yu Nin. Winners of the Maple Tree Bronze Award. Brenda Hugh Dong Yan. Cindy Margareta. Lengok Pao Khan. Tran Ti Tu Peng.
recipients of the Certificate of Commendation. Hugh T. Twin. Rosalinda Thank you Professor Wei for presenting the diplomas and awards Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to take this opportunity to thank Maple Tree Investments for their sponsorship of the prizes under the Maple Tree Academic Achievement Program. On behalf of SIM, I would like to congratulate all our graduates and award winners. Once again, let us put our hands together and give our graduates a round of applause for their achievements. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the ceremony. We thank you for celebrating this special occasion with us. Thank you and have a pleasant evening ahead. <laughs>